my company and virtually was actually just awarded um, a partnership with the seventh largest school district in the nation, which is Houston Independent School District, where we'll have the opportunity to implement on-site programming to 12 campuses. And then they actually just let us know that they want to expand the program to 20 more campuses. And that means that all of the students across the district, which is a little over 200,000 kids, will have access to this platform. And then those select campuses will have access to our on-site programming. So that means we're impacting more kids and then we're improving self-esteem, um, which leads to change in behaviors and academic achievement. I went into the military in July of 2007. Um, it was during my first year of college. A recruiter found me and I was so enticed and um, excited to join the military because my mother was also in the Army. Um, and when I was in, I decided to be a truck driver, which is 88 Mike. Went to basic training in AIT and then um, I got out in 2015 uh, because I got hurt. So I am now a disabled I've always thought about being, uh, I guess, independent as far as um, working for someone, uh, but I've never heard of the word entrepreneur, so I never thought about it. Though I've never heard the word entrepreneur, my parents actually had their own business. They had never brought it to fruition, and I remember being in college, um, I kind of wanted to bring a, a solution to this problem that I had as a kid, and I remembered that my mother actually owned her own business, so I kind of asked her these questions about starting my own company. And then her and my father kind of guided me into like, where I am today. It initially started as a self-esteem based uh, brick and mortar. So when you think of a tutoring center, but the only thing we did was taught kids about self-esteem, positive body image, we did etiquette classes, had after school programs. It was a state of the art facility that I built from the ground up. And um, when the pandemic happened, I created this e-learning platform, which is also like a kind of like a personal development gaming platform. Um, and it's something where children can effectively improve their self-esteem with the use of gamification, data, and machine learning. I met Jason during a veterans pitch competition at Rice University in Houston, Texas. And he was one of the judges at um, Bryce University. And I pitched in front of him and he was like really wowed at the company and the mission and really what we're solving when it comes to uh, low self-esteem in children. And um, we've been connected ever since and he told me about Warrior Rising and um, invited me out to uh, for this weekend and it's, it's a huge blessing. This issue of low self-esteem, it affects hundreds of millions of children around the world. And winning this challenge will really put us in the position to further our impact, um, grow our team, and really make sure we are building something that's both effective and impactful, um, not only in the US, but really all over the world. So we are national right now. We actually have been approached by a couple of different um, school systems in Dubai, in China, in Saudi Arabia. Our resources are limited, so we cannot um, go international just yet, but we've been able to impact a little over uh, 30,000 children to date with our programs um, and through our technology. We are really hoping to make this personal development tool accessible to kids anywhere at any time and grow this company to be an international force that is really positively impacting kids, helping to change their mindsets so that we can change behaviors and then that leads to a change in overall condition.